<laughs> All right, welcome everybody to the new video. So in the background right now, you can see me doing some barrows. I actually did some barrows to start off the video with. Hopefully, you know, get a cool freaking item and uh, a luck out on a chest or something to show you guys uh, in the beginning of the video. But unfortunately not. I didn't get any drops. That's why I'm just showing a few rewards here in the background. Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for the recent support on my latest video. I don't even know what happened. Like, if you check out my videos, they have like 200 views, 300 views, 200 views, 1,900. What? What the? It brought a huge smile to my face uh, when I woke up and saw that I have uh, like five or ten more subscribers. That was amazing. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. Look at the freaking like and dislike ratio. What? Like what the? F that means a lot to me. Like I don't. You, I, I never see videos like this. There's always like two or three or four or five dislikes, but nobody have dislike yet. I thank you guys so much for that. It's amazing. So so I guess with that said, let's begin the video. Hope you all will enjoy. Roll intro. Okay, this is something I'm completely doing for fun now, but it seems like we can actually save spot this guy. I heard they patched how you can't kill this chaos elemental doing this save spot method here, but it seems like it's working fine. And we're almost about to kill this girl, 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 girl whatever, <laughs> the elemental, the freaking cloud. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. I'm just going for the dragon pickaxe and I was trying to do this. I th thought I could never do this, but it seems fine right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Rune arrows. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna try one other kill, but I'm gonna bank first. There's so many tasks that I would need to do mining for, so it would be amazing if I would get it. I would be so happy. So yeah, I'm gonna try a few more kills. We'll see you guys. <laughs> there we go, the kill. Mithril darts. I get them. <laughs> Strange fruits. <laughs> okay, okay, I bad drop once again. I'm going to bank now. I'm going to do one more inventory. That uh, should be hopefully two kills. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm out of here. I would be so pissed if somebody logged in now and I had to go away. There we go. Is that a kill? Yes, it is. Ah, antidote. Okay. Well, yeah. Damn it. I'm going to do something else now. I'm not really sure what, though. I'm, I'm just trying this out, so uh, we're gonna do something else now. I wonder how big the XP drop is from that. Holy shit, but that was crazy. Look at all the bones. I'm gonna hit the last hit. I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna kick him. Okay, kick him to death. So that would be the end of the wanted quest, right? Wrong. It took quite some time, even though it's uh, it says it's a short quest for some reason. So I don't know. A one quest point, five k slayer XP access to the White Knight armory. So that's cool. So the reason why I did this quest is uh, actually only to unlock the slug menons. So. Don't I have level 30 runecrafting? Are you serious, man? I think I can do the Thirst of Gothics minigame. I'm going to do that first, hopefully get 30 runecrafting, then complete the Slug Menace. And then I can unlock the Proselyte Armor, which gives nice prayer bonuses. So that's the plan, guys. Let's go. If this doesn't get me up to 30, I'm gonna be sad. Is it? Yes, okay, even 31, man. That was nice. So, let's go over to the quest, guys, and we'll see if we can get it done. Alright, guys, so if you don't know, this is a place you can teleport with uh, the Fairy Tale Part 2 completion and using the Fairy Rings. If you type in the code ALR, you will appear at this place. And this is actually a great place if you want to camp out for some talismans and as well rune pouches. And it won't be multi-zone or anything, so you don't have to do it at the Abyss up in Wilderness, which is a good one. So, this is a little tip to you guys if you are going for pouches or talisman so for the quest i need all the regular talismans so i have them now oh isn't this lovely i'm going to kill the slug prince is this a prince like i guess some places but what the fuck is this? this looks so fucking weird and that guy is totally into the freaking slug and stuff so why i have done this quest is to get the proselyte armor it's a great armor to have if you need the prayer bonus and to be able to use prayer prayer points for a longer period i guess 3.5k thieving rune crafting and regular crafting and one quest point nice any levels two rune crafting levels nice so uh yeah okay with that now i should be able to buy it from this guy wait a second there we go sure this should be giving me a nice prayer bonus now so yeah i'm going to use this armor in nightmare zone which i'm going for right now but there's one more quest i need to do and that's the fight arena i haven't really done nightmare zone before and uh, it's going to be interesting checking it out and uh, in a guide they told me i should complete the fight arena quest <clears throat> excuse me jeremy serval i think you're bullshitting here what is this it appears that you are outside fighting in the fighting arenas and you're still in the prison. You have already rescued Jeremy from the f Why is he still behind the bars then? Oh, there we go. Nice. 
12k attack XP. This is a quest I should have done earlier in the game when 12k attack XP meant a lot. But uh, yeah, that's that's uh, too late now, guys. So two quest points, 1k coins, and 2k thieving. Nice. So I'm going to attempt to do some nightmare zone now. I haven't done it before, so it's going to be interesting to see how it how it's done. In the beginning, I tried to prayer flick these guys, but they can hit really hard if you fail to prayer flick. And I'm not the master of prayer flicking, so I didn't bother doing it, so I'm just using prayer all the time. This is the gear setup I have. The proselyte is only for added uh, prayer bonus and as well the RDK. And then I have the regular combat gear that I have. Okay, so I actually found out another way to do this, and you don't have to use prayer pots at all now. So yeah, that's good. I've been here for a long time. This segment now I'm about to die. Because my absorption potion is going out. And it's a lot better, especially for Iron Man, since you don't have to use prayer pots. So you basically just buy these absorption potions and, and you eat the Dwarven Rock Cake to get down to 1 HP. And then you just simply kill the monsters there and make sure you have absorption potions like crazy on and stuff. But now I should have all the points I need to imbue the Slayer Helmet. So we'll see that in just a second. Fuck me if I don't have... Yes, I have. Whoa. That's good, man. It's All right, so the regular Slayer Helmet gives me like uh, 30, 32, 27 and stuff. And 50% more Slayer with melee. And as well, it gives me minus on range and magic. And if I would upgrade this all of this time for this freaking helmet, this took quite some time, boys. So anyways, we're gonna check now. It should be better now. Okay, all styles, so this means magic and ranging as well. It gives plus bonus here in magic and ranging, and as well, it's it's a lot better for magic and ranging. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a good one getting this out of the way. Uh, this is something you also should do when you get your Slayer Helmet, you should imbue it. So, so I had so much spare time to think now when I did this minigame or whatever it's called. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to complete the Mauritania Hard Diaries. And as well, one of the tasks is require you to have 70 prayer. Which would take so long, but it would also be really helpful for piety, and that is the highest level prayer you can use. So, I think that's our next goal of the account, getting 70 prayer for various reasons. So, I'm not really sure now which is the best way of uh, Iron Man doing it, but I think killing green dragons in the wilderness would be a great one. Yeah, so I could use the Ectophantus here to pray them and make them into bone meal and stuff. But if I would kill the green dragons, I would also get a lot of green dragon hides, which I could make something out of with crafting, which would level up. And then I could alk these items as well for later to make a lot of cash. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Alright guys, so the grind has begun. I'm going to kill a lot of green dragons. Uh, so it seems like they are dropping clue scrolls and this is a hard one, so that's good. I just got the looting bag as well from a drop here. And the looting bag is a nice one because I can store items in it when I'm in the wilderness. So I can have one extra inventory, like I think it's 28 pieces you can put it in. And that's good as well, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do the clue scroll. I'm going to have to stay here at this place for a long time. I'm almost at 75 strength. Nice, let's go. Holy shit, man, a bandless plate, buddy, and a rune helmet, heraldic helmet, and a gothic spade. So this is really good, actually. This helmet is going to be needed for a clue scroll. I have to drop a few clues because of this freaking helmet here. I, lo I love this tree. What the hell is going on here? Eh, hey, Macarena. <laughs> what? Crazy people. Like, seriously, what is this with these clues? Look at this. So I need to wear a headband and crosshair. I have the crosshair and all, but I don't have the headband, so... I got five clues from these green dragons and four of them have been dropped, which is crazy. I don't even know, man. On the first step and all, like, what the hell? I haven't recorded all of them, I think, and I'm dying. What the hell is this dragon? It's crazy. And uh, this was the same place that I got the clue last time, or the casket, so I'm excited. We're gonna run here to the woods and we're gonna open it in the wilderness. Come on, boys. Boom. Okay, this has to be, like, the... The, like, worst page is Sarah Domin page. I don't even know, but I got two of that. That is, that is interesting. Sarah Domin pages. Why haven't I seen them before? I don't think I have, man. But we got two of them. That is cool, at least. Uh, well, let's see now. We'll see now. Okay, I don't have one of these. No. Yes. Oh, man, look at that. I got the clue scroll. And we have the reward. I've done everything. Let's go. Boom. No way. Come on, look at this. Alright, so once again we got a clue scroll, and uh, we're opening it here in the Seiya place. Uh, this is a place I don't really usually go to, but uh, yeah, man, we're here at least. Hopefully we can get some luck by this freaking fire monster behind me here, I don't even know what it is. But uh, yeah, okay, we're opening it. Let's go, boys. Oh my god, man. Fuck yeah, we got the Samurai page. And as well, Gothic's chaps, man. Are these useful for any reason? I don't think I have any Samurai page yet. Now we got it. I think we have, uh, I no duplicates of pages yet, which is cool. 
This is great, man. Let's go on. Oh man, would you look at this? A lucky impling. I've never seen one of those. Uh, I think this is actually the hardest and uh, the best impling to get, the most rare, you know? You need 99 Hunter to catch it. Cool, man. I can't take it, unfortunately. I don't know what you can get from them, but probably something really cool, because already the dragon ones are great, so... I'm doing a clue scroll here, by the way. I got so many clues, but I haven't, like, I don't want to record all of them, me getting them, you know? I just get the rewards. So, let's go. This is uh, somewhat like a, a regular hard clue. It's uh, it's not, I'm not sad or I'm not super happy. It's it's decent. All right, once again, we got a clue. I got so many clues. So, okay, we're gonna open it here in the bank. Boom. A peaceful blessing. What the hell is this item? I have never seen one of those. I got no idea what this is, guys. <laughs> I gotta check that up sometime. I'm going back to the dragons. I just want to get it over with, man. I've been here for so long already. All right, hashtag most disappointing clue ever, right? God damn it, man. All this work for something like this, I get so sad. Alright, so as you may or may not know, uh, this is actually in the wilderness, so you have to be uh, like aware of PKers and stuff, you need to get away from them if uh, they wanna fuck you up. So uh, usually when I'm standing here, I have my like camera in this angle, so I can see like over these mountains or whatever it's called. Um, not mountains, maybe, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, so it's usually when the PKers log in, they usually log in somewhere around here that I noticed at least. It's really easy if you can see them like this and then you can pay attention to the map as a little as well and see if any white dots are coming and you can and just quickly check and see who it is and stuff. If somebody happened to log in, right, like right now, then I would usually like run away from them as soon as possible. I just simply run like behind any tree here and uh, then I switch the world, which is how I do it, it's really easy to do that, and then you don't have to teleport away, and then you have to get back here, it will take time and stuff, you can just simply change the world and uh, get on with the, with, with the grind or whatever, so that's how I usually do, and if they happen to uh, start attacking me, it's best just to teleport away, so you don't have to like deal with it, and there's one more thing I can do, and that is teleblock you, and if this happens, it's really easy to get away actually, then you just simply run, um, it's east, so you just simply run east and start attacking these skeletons, and they will Start attacking your attacker. This happens to me once. I'm not sure if I have the clip. I can roll that if I have it. So he was here standing and attacking the skeletons as much as possible to be able to kill them all so he could attack me, you know. But then I just like a little sneaky went up here behind the rocks and he was like somewhere here around. I, I got up here behind the rocks and started attacking the skeletons here. And then I just simply, when he didn't know and I have recharged my energy, I just ran so freaking quickly south and then I was able to escape him. Be patient, don't panic and all, and you should be fine to get away from them. It's really easy actually. Alright guys, we are on our final stretch of the dragon bones. I'm gonna quickly check in the bank, quickly check yourself. Um, so I'm at 2150 right now. I think what I'm going to need exactly for to get the level is like 2250 or so. So I'm going to get a little above that, and then we're going to start making it into bone meal and all of that nice stuff. No, it's not really, but okay. We've got a clue scroll on the way, and uh, this might be the last one, so uh, good luck me, please. Yeah, well, yeah. God damn it. Well, the rune plate legs, I can't really... I don't even know. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking finally! Wow! <laughs> Alright, fuck yes, we are done. Oh, that was the last kill, man. I'm so fucking out of here. Like, I've been here for so long. If uh, I'm correct now, it should be all we need. Um, I, I really, really do hope so, because... Uh, man, I'm so tired. And I have to probably use the pin here now. Yes. All right, let's check this out, guys. Oh my Jesus, in the hells, what? 2260 dragon bones, this should be enough. Um, I actually got a surprise, I got a clue scroll on like the last five kills. Uh, will this be like some kind of a reward for me now, because I've been fucking grinding this out? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but we're gonna try to do it, and uh, yeah, hopefully, man, we can get something cool. It would be amazing to end off the video with that. Well, okay, 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 okay. Rune heraldic shield up my ass, I can't do that. <sighs> Damn it, man, that sucks so bad. I'm gonna open this door here and uh, check out the tree. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think before I end off, I'm going to go to the bank and we're gonna price check the items we got, the bones and all, and we'll see what we actually got. So, one sec. All these rune daggers are from, from this, so I'm gonna take them as well. I'm not sure if I, there's anything else I should... Uh, yeah, of course, the nature is though. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many. Like, I got uh, I got most of them from there. I don't, I don't really know exactly, but something around that. So, yeah, and I also, of course, got a lot of clue scroll items and stuff, which is nice. So, we're gonna check what is this worth. Holy shit, man. Is it worth it? Yeah, well, it is. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be really nice. 
Oh my god, that's a lot of money. <laughs> okay, let's check it this out. Oh, freaking 11.5 mil from this. Are you serious, man? This is crazy. This is really amazing. This is actually cool. Uh, obviously, I can't sell them or anything, and I'm not gonna. <laughs> so, uh, but... I'm going to make these into dragon hide items later with crafting. I'm not sure what I need to make green dragon hide body. Wait a second. Level 63. So I'm going to have to train up to that level. And then I'm going to arc them later. I'm going to make so much bunk from it. So that's really good. Yeah, I think this is actually the end of the video, guys. Uh, right now I'm going to start doing some agility here. I'm going to have to get like 71 agility or something for the hard diary. So that's what I'm going to start doing right now. I'm probably going to arc while I do it. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. I really spent so much time on this and uh, it, uh, it kind of got bored for me as well doing it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> at least we got it now. I'm so happy about it. So I'm excited to start doing something else again. But I actually kind of enjoy doing agility and arcing at the same time. It's not that bad and it feels like productive when you do it. So that's uh, that's why one reason I think I like it. But uh, okay, I'm going to do this, guys. And once again, guys, thank you so much for all the recent support and... Fuck me, did I just fall? Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for the recent support and the views and the likes, man. Like, that's amazing, man. Still no dislikes on the video. It's amazing. I can't thank you guys enough enough for that so so skill wise on this episode we did mostly just get attack and strength xps and levels and hit points as well so i didn't really do much otherwise than combat so i got a few levels of those so it's nothing like too extra or anything but uh, it was also really helpful for the account i'm going to it's going to be so much easier doing barrows now and stuff so i really hope to get some uh, direct armor or something uh, like defense armor so yeah okay with that said i'm going to end this video hope you all enjoyed guys Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!